In previous episodes, we repaired our sails and have focused on learning to live on anchor. But now we're going to prepare for our first offshore trip. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how we modified a hand pump to change the oil in our diesel engine and how we plan to navigate the winds and waves offshore. All right, uh, we're cleaning dishes, doing housework, and it's time for an oil change. Heading out tomorrow. All right, first up, we've got the new filter. I consulted the service manual and operation manual. We've got the filter wrench. We may or may not need that, depending on how tightly the uh, last oil change is done. And I bought the smallest pump I could find. I didn't want to carry um, an oil pump that has a big reservoir container, so I've got all it is is a pump. We're going to pump it out into an old um, oil container and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. So it begins. Just put the old uh, absorbent disposable towel down. I'm going to use an empty container. This was from the previous owner. I suppose the oil they put in, and it's empty. So we'll pump the dirty oil in here. Got the hand pump. This is called a grip multi-purpose transfer pump. And I've got the hoses set up on it. Plenty long enough. One to go into the trash, pump out, and one will go in the dipstick. It comes with this long, really small eighth inch type of three six really small <laughs> okay now let's attach the two and that should allow us to pump so it's a slow steady stream coming out and uh, we're just gonna very small pump so we figured it'd take a little while uh, it's good on workout anyway, so I guess 10 more minutes of pumping and it'll be out. It's been about five so far, huh? Let's keep going here. Okay, so cheap little pump. It's really a piece of junk, um, but we're going to make it better. If you listen to it, you'll hear it has air gaps. So this junction here creates an air gap. So it's sucking air in there. We don't want that. We want to suck in oil from here. So I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to try to see if this tube fits. So about this tubing to, for the dehumidifier. Three quarter inch outside diam diameter, but it's a half inch. And that should go over the dipstick tube. And um, if it does, that's going to work perfect. It's a lot stronger. Oh, the other problem is this. Watch this. You can see it's collapsing. It's hard just, is it hard to see there? Mm -hmm. This top tube here, watch this. It just collapsed on itself. You know, like when you're sucking a milkshake and it's uh, it collapsed and it's not getting anything through. We've been doing this for 20 minutes now and pumped out maybe four to eight ounces. So it's supposed to hold five liters that rate we have about three more hours of pumping that ain't gonna work Amateur. so yeah <laughs> we're gonna try this I'm really loving the size of this pump but if it doesn't work I'm gonna get a bigger pump this is my last chance let's try it out all right so this is a half inch inside diameter three quarter inch outside diameter so you can see how thick it is there and uh, we cut it at somewhat of a taper, an angle there, and that's going to allow us to push it over right on top of the dipstick hose. Let's see if we can get a, a video of that. Let's put that way down here, see what happens. Booyah! Now the question is, 
does this same diameter fit on the pump? Yeah, so this hose is the exact same size as this uh, fitting here. So we just cut some of the old hose off, just a little short piece, shove it in there, and now we have a good, looks like, <laughs> looks like to be a good joint. Let's find out. We hope so. We're done with pumping the oil out. That, that increased hose worked really good. So that worked good, this uh, heavy duty hose. So anyway, we have a gallon that's full of trash oil. And good thing is we have an oil receptacle here at the marina. We're gonna dump it and then, uh, and then put a gallon of fresh oil in. The filters should only be hand tight. And if that's the case, I should be able to get it off in one fell swoop. There we go. Yeah. Very good. That didn't work. Stupid. Thank God for the diaper. That's why you have a diaper. Someone's exhausted down there. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna let that oil sit and seep into the engine before we uh, get a good measure on the dipstick. It's just at the low level, and I think it's gonna be right in the middle. We'll crank the engine on, let it run a little bit, and make sure that the fuel, the oil filter is sealed. We're gonna do a little planning, basic shoreline map. We're just gonna plan out uh, oil rigs list of uh, platforms and uh, wells to watch for on the coast. Plan our trip, heading out tomorrow. All right, so this is five nautical miles, which in our terminology is an hour. We're gonna try to hit five knots speed. So we got an hour out of the jetties. That's what I'm seeing right here. Then, another hour, and we're at the seven fathom line. Two, three hours, six, it's right here below all of these uh, rigs. Seven, Ten hours to Freeport. It's about 40 nautical miles, 50 nautical miles. Yeah, but once we get out here at the 7th Fathom Line, are we still going to be motoring or are we going to try to sail? Oh, let's check out the wind. Thursday, 3 a.m. So this is zero wind out here. And here it kind of looks like uh, about 10 knots of wind. If you stay close to the shoreline, you're gonna go kind of into the wind. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a different model. Now this is showing 15 knots. This is this is <laughs> this is more like what's actually gonna happen. I think we can do it. I'm excited. I'm gonna take my house up there. It's a little scary. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. No, it's kind of cool, right? Um, I guess you can call it a little shakedown cruise by ourselves. It's our oil change, it's our cell repairs. We either did it right or we did it all wrong. <laughs> Something's gonna happen good or not. No, it's gonna be good. The, wet, the wind is calm, the waves are calm. Dessert. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Me too. Let's get the stairs back together so I can go take mocha. Lovely. Lovely. We're doing the YouTube. Just want to know if you like our videos. If you do, you know, give us a thumbs up. That lets us know that it's a good video. Um, 